Guys, we have a very special interview here uh, coming up with Team Sexy. Hello. 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 Whoa, there's three voices. If I'm not mistaken, <laughs> we have on the line Nicolette, yep. Rimuru, and Best Player. How y'all doing? We're doing amazing. How about you? How about you? <laughs> we seem to have cooled down from our nerves of that uh, that game. <laughs> so first of all, congratulations guys not many this was something that me and leo had talked about uh off screen is like you know we had meta who had a lot of time to relax a lot of time to calm down from their loss uh and so the question was going to be whether team sexy whether you guys had that discipline to be able to come off of that loss so quickly uh and 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 bounce back and uh, like i mean honestly how did you guys were you guys able to maintain the the composure what did you guys tell each other uh going into this uh this last series um can i start okay, I, I will admit our team was very tilted off of the off of the series versus tsu but i think we all talked to each other and told each other so just relax we could we could bounce back we go to grand finals again it's totally fine and i will admit you know i threw i threw a lot which is um my bad it's, it's on my part just really really bad but i won't be doing that next time so all right uh, i'm sorry that was, that was best player yeah Yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, I love it, man. You know what? Manning up, and again, uh, uh, me and in private, like we don't have to point it out. Like at least you knew, and you were trying your best. Uh, so the fact that there's still that thought of we can still make it to grand finals. That was a tough game. Uh, I, I, I'm guessing it was more of a positive uh, feedback for you and your team. But um, another question is, I'd like to hear from uh, Rimuru and and um, Nicola as well. Um, what was the plan? What was the game plan going into this next best of three against Meta? Did you guys uh, decide that we were trying to be as comfortable as we can? Or were you going to try something else? Were you going to go out of the box? What did you guys talk about before going up against Meta? So, um, I re we realized that our game against New Wave, we weren't playing comfortable heroes. Um, that's why we were struggling a lot. Um, me on Thamos, I haven't been practicing a lot as much as before. Mm. So, I was struggling with um, just uh trading with Esme and so I lost lane pretty badly getting first blood as well um also beforehand um we are low on sleep like warrior me um we're low on sleep and so uh the energy was not there it was not the same as the valley we weren't as positive we weren't talking as much and so by second game I had to mute and make sure that I was back in the game I had to make sure that team was getting their call back nobody was talking first game against new wave it was dead silence for like at least every single 30 seconds and so i realized that was a big mistake uh we needed to communicate it was really important um as a team especially uh shot calls flickers everything ulti and so um our teammate was definitely not in the game against new wave so going into new meta we made sure that each of us was talking those games uncomfortable hero and just discussing before every single draft oh all right makes sense i mean we saw it happening and i'm so surprised to hear that game one y'all weren't actually talking and most of you were uh, did i hear that right rimuru you were lacking sleep yes um i actually um so warrior had his uh he had three hours of sleep i had five hours of sleep came, coming back from work and then so um, my brain was definitely not in that first game. I was, I had a uh, little idea what I was doing and trading with an Esme as a Thamos, I should win, but, um, losing so badly, I realized that I need to step on my game. So during those 20 minute break, I made sure to keep calm, uh, relax. And right before we went into meta game, um, I was trying to hype up our team. I made sure that gold lane tank had to calm down and work together shot call was really important and then um team was we definitely would argue like um after that huge loss getting sweet um it was really huge like mentally we had a lot of argument but coming into new meta we refreshed our mind and made sure that we came back and and come back you did right i think nicolette was talking about how getting comfort picks or was a uh, was a key to your victory against meta um your lunox was first pick nicolette right uh if i'm not mistaken uh how how comfortable were you in, in these two games here uh tonight these last two games um i think 
Can you hear me? Yes. I, yes. I think I think Lunox <laughs> is my most comfortable hero as of right now. Ah. Lunox mid, right? Like, because I, I I speak to a lot of pro players and they like Lunox in gold a little more. But you're you're that you're that special case. And um, I think Private and I saw today, uh, tonight, how how amazing your your mid lane Lunox is. How how it's able to like weave in through team fights, force out ults. You you bait in with the brilliance. Um, can we expect to see more Lunox from you uh, in the next stages? Yes, I I think our team needs my. Lunox because it's our our team is around like early game picks like that's our comfort and Lunox is an early game pick so I think we definitely need to pick that or Farsa or Farsa <laughs> That, that was an interesting pick in the first place, too, because we don't see very many Farzas. I, I think she's kind of fallen out of favor just because of uh, the immobility that she has with that alt and and being able to get to her. But, I mean, used to perfection. I know it was a little rough going with that first game. Uh, it, it felt like you guys had the early game. From the mid game on, though, it was seeming like it was all team meta. Like, I mean, what was going through your minds as Warrior landed, uh, was able to kind of chase down Mikasa and land that last uh fatal links on we, we were able to discipline them and we saw him like being cocky which is what mo many na teams do like they get ahead <laughs> and then they just like s sit in front of your base and that's what he <laughs> did and we were able to capitalize on his kill um and eventually end okay um can i add on to that of course. <laughs> okay, um, so we got that pick um, at the very end against uh, uh, the UV, right? We got UV and Claude, and I think Claw accidentally TP in there by accident. And so uh, it was definitely a little bit of luck. We can't say because Warrior was definitely not playing his best today. And um, so getting that last pick, I feel like it was definitely bit lucky because um no team should do that after getting such a huge lead they should just be playing safe freezing lane and stuff like that and so um I, although i'm really happy that we won against them um i'm not really happy by the way we won because um even though we won against team meta two to zero i feel like we trolled a lot like um the game could have been a lot cleaner um we would have not been yelling as much in vc um, saying do not troll, do not do this, and stuff like that. But um, we'll make sure to not pull the same mistake in the grand final if we make it there, and, and especially in the next game because um, it's really crucial. Um, small mistake like this cannot be like bypassed, especially um, since it's NA. I feel like it can be, but at the same time, it shouldn't be because uh, once the game gets to like C level, it we small mistake just ends the game, like how Mikasa did right there. wise words uh, especially when it comes to like the discipline there uh at the end uh i mean great game played by you guys like i said it's it's been a journey watching you especially uh the, with the uh i talked with you guys a little bit earlier about some of the roster changes you've gone through and it's just been something that's uh, that you explained it's it's part of na going through these roster changes and something especially for how long you've been in a in na competing uh here uh, so you've basically adapted to that. You've you've done with roster changes what other teams aren't able to do with their main roster and with uh, on team met in the fact of team meta with a with a, a coach as well. So I mean, congratulations on that. And uh, and I know and it's it's very humbling to hear that. Like even though you guys two and owed uh, swept them, you still realize there are mistakes. You're able to own up to them and and realize that there is still work to be done. This doesn't mean that you guys are at your peak. You guys still have some cleaning up to do. So congrats on that. Before we wrap up and throw over, uh, before we let you go, uh, Nicolette, Rimuru and best player, I have one question. Um, you could potentially be facing off against New Wave again or Team First Blood, who would you rather drop to the lower bracket and face off against? 
uh i would say it's it doesn't really matter as much to the team but we definitely do we do want our revenge on tsu i think i think we could have definitely put up a way like a much bigger fight than we did those other two games and like like grimaru said our those games were not perfect we did not we we weren't talking there was a lot of issues that i hope we can fix as a team we have we have we have tomorrow right it's the, the games of tomorrow right or not yes yes yeah yeah so I hope they get some sleep at least, and <laughs> and you know we, we we play as a team, we communicate, and we ex we execute our, our our ideas. All right, love it. So 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 for for best player, they want a revenge. They 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 want round two. All right. Um, how about how about Nicolette? Nicolette, who do you want to face off against uh, in the lower bracket finals? Uh, I want to face off t Team First Blood, not TSU, because like best player, I want to face them again but in the finals so we can actually beat them where i see it actually like matters that. <laughs> all right make that that big drama out of it into the grand finals the redemption story no no no, like no, drama. They're, they're definitely no drama you know yeah, it's, it's, they're, it's they're, kind of funny because really i was talking about that too i was when, when we two old meta i was like this is the redemption story you feel me like <laughs> we're gonna go to grand finals we're gonna take it off All right. How about uh, Rimuru? Who do you want to face? Um, me personally, um, I, I just want to face whoever's the better team because um, getting first is just not enough for me. I feel like uh, if we're gonna win this. It has to be like the right way. We're we have to face um, whoever which team is stronger. If TSU loses, um, it just means that TSU wasn't the best. So and then we want to win, and we're gonna be the best. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. The, the best victory is, is when you grow. So I'm looking forward to how Team Sexy evolves and grows in the next few nights, uh, especially uh, if and when you guys get into the Grand Finals and maybe take home this season's uh, NACT title. All right, congratulations again, Team Sexy, and thank you all so much. You guys are amazing.